everybody. My name is Jessie and I do perfume reviews in ASMR format. So if you like perfume and also if you like ASMR, you are in a good place for our video today. Okay, so today I am reviewing the fragrance called Living and this is by the brand Lalique. This is a discontinued fragrance, so just know that if you're not interested to learn about this fragrance because it's discontinued. Just wanted you to know that um, ahead of time, but it is one that I have in my collection, so I thought I'd do a video review on it. Um, I really enjoy the bottle. As you can see, it has this amber liquid. It's got an interesting shape, kind of almost like the shape of a persimmon or something and then you can if, if you can see it says lovely living around the base of the spray here got an interesting design on top most reminds me of birds sparrows I don't know and then we've got a, a gold atomizer so yeah so um, this fragrance uh, I really enjoy. I find it to be a very grounded, kind of woody, slightly spicy, aromatic, natural smell. And it is for women. It's marketed for women, but to me it's very, very unisex. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure why they discontinued it. I assume it wasn't selling well enough, and that's why they discontinued it. Um, so I tried to dress on theme today. I kind of just went with like a more natural earthy type look. So I've got this woven top. Is this woven knit? I don't know. Chunky knit. And then I've got these um, wooden earrings, which I thought kind of went with the vibe because yeah I feel like this is a woody fragrance and just more of a natural kind of feel to it so that's the look for today so I'm gonna go ahead and spray this fragrance and let you know what it smells like okay so we've got a page with a poppy and a butterfly on it Go ahead and give this a spray. Nice atomizer. It came out decently. <laughs> I always like notice how it comes out of the bottle, you know? Some bottles spray in a way that I really enjoy, some not so much. This one's kind of in the middle. It was okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm just letting this dry down and I'm gonna give it a smell. Yeah, so I'm definitely getting woodiness, kind of a bit of a spiciness. I think there's some spices in here. I forget all the notes, though. And then almost like an herbally, aromatic type quality. Just very grounded, earthy, natural kind of vibe. Like you're out on a walk in the woods after it rained or something like that. Yeah, and definitely, like, honestly, maybe more on what we'd think of as the masculine end of things, almost. Um, not, like, traditionally feminine at all, but it is marketed for women. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and read the main accords that are listed on Fragrantica.com. So we have woody, fresh, spicy, powdery aromatic, iris, earthy, amber, lavender, musky, warm spicy. So yeah, I guess there is iris in here. And now that I'm kind of smelling for it, I feel like I can pick up the iris. There's also a lavender 
There's a lavender note in here, and I, I feel like I can pick up on that subtly, too. And yeah, I don't remember what the spices are, but definitely there's like some spicy, spicier type notes. Maybe like pe some sort of pepper. Um, okay, so next, let's go ahead and look at the notes that we have. We actually have quite a few notes I'm seeing. Alright, so for our top notes, we've got three top notes, and they are lavender, bergamot, and mint. So I definitely do pick up on the lavender. And there's just like the smallest touch of freshness in this fragrance, but it's really more so it's not really a, a fresh a profile but I feel like maybe I'm getting something either from the mint or bergamot in the top notes but it's so subtle it's really not much of a freshy type scent at all okay so moving on to our middle notes we've got four, mid four middle notes and they are black pepper iris nutmeg and rose so i am definitely getting the black pepper i feel like that's fairly prominent for me i feel like i'm getting the iris it's like adding to that earthy kind of powdery um quality and then maybe a touch of nutmeg I'm not picking up on any rose though. Okay, and then moving on to our base notes, we have three, four, five, six. We have eight base notes, so a lot of base notes. This perfume is more base heavy for sure, just low tone, earthy, grounded. Okay, so we have um, base notes of vetiver, cashmere, sandalwood, cedar. Tonka bean, orris, vanilla, and labdanum. So the orris, that's iris root. So I'm just going to say I'm picking up on that along with the iris. Vanilla and tonka bean, which tonka bean kind of has a vanilla-like smell. I'm not getting a whole lot of that. As well as the labdanum, I think that kind of has a almost like leathery vanilla type smell maybe I'm getting a touch of that but it's not it's definitely not like a vanilla fragrance to me if it's there it's just there in the background you know I feel like I am getting some cedar and vetiver um like a kind of like a fresh spicy woodiness I think I'm definitely getting some vetiver coming through almost in a grassy woody way. So to recap, the notes that I pick up on most from this fragrance are black pepper, lavender, iris, slash orris, and then the woody notes like vetiver and cedar. So that's what I get most from this. So yeah, like I said, very kind of outdoorsy, natural, grounded, woody, earthy type smell. Um, definitely different. Really, honestly, the only fragrance in my collection that is this kind of uh, woody earthy, I would say. But I do like it. I feel like one spray would do me good, you know. I don't think I'd need more than that myself. It's not super duper strong though, but I just tend to go light on fragrances anyway. I'm going to show the votes and tell you what other users on Fragrantica are picking up on most. They say they are mostly smelling vetiver, cashmere, lavender, black pepper, um, iris, and then nutmeg, sandalwood, cedar, etc. So that's like honestly pretty similar to me. Namely the vetiver, lavender, iris, orris, and black pepper. Um, yeah, so I feel like 
that's a pretty good gauge of kind of what we're getting from this fragrance. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and look over some other statistics for this fragrance. So, it looks like it was launched in 2015, so that's not that long ago. I don't know when it was discontinued, but, um, obviously it wasn't on the market for that long, I'm thinking. On Fragrantica, it has a rating of 3.82 out of 5 with 1,166 votes, so that tells me that it's kind of mid-range popular, like, you know, nothing, nothing that people love or hate. Um, it's definitely not your, it's not what, you know, when you go to like the, um, what am I trying to say? The department store and you're smelling women's perfumes, like this is nothing like most of the typical women's perfumes. So it's definitely different, but I feel like for the right person, they would really love this. And yeah, I'm not sure how easy it is to get anymore. It might be kind of expensive. It's possible I might sell my bottle at some point, so that'll add something to the market, but I'm going to keep it for now. Okay, um, what else? Some other statistics. People are saying the longevity is pretty good, a little bit on the longer lasting side. The sillage they are saying is kind of right in the middle. To me, um, this is not the boldest fragrance, but it definitely has got some depth to it. Got some woodiness, some spiciness, so I feel like somebody would definitely be able to smell it on you, but it's not like uber strong or heady or sweet or anything like that. It's being rated as pretty unisex, I agree. If To me, it's almost slightly masculine leaning, like I could definitely imagine smelling this on a man. Um, price value is rated as pretty good. I assume that was before it was discontinued. Now it's harder to find. It is being compared to, uh, Dior Homme and, uh, yeah, Dior Homme, which is like a, a pretty, uh, iris or dominant men's fragrance, kind of powdery men's fragrance. So yeah, it is being compared to that. Just FYI. Okay, I don't have any other Lalik fragrances to show you, otherwise I would do that in this portion of the video. Um, so I'll just go ahead and read through a few uh, reviews on Fragrantica, see what other people say. Okay, so somebody says, I love it. It's not masculine, but rather smells like the feminine version of the men's perfumes that we love but can't wear. So unique. Okay, somebody says, firstly, this is nothing like Dior Homme. There are trace elements of the Roca's man in there, but, um, but also amber, lavender, and vanilla. No woods. Uh, maybe hard for a guy to pull off. To me, it's definitely woody. I definitely get a woodiness. I think a guy could pull this off for sure, but I do tend to go for pretty feminine fragrances, so maybe my perception is skewed that this is like almost a little more on the masculine end. Um, somebody says very masculine, more like young adult masculine. So of course, you know, everybody has a different perspective. Let's see if I can find one that talks more about the notes. Somebody says, um, sophisticated bottle, but, okay, let's not read that one, read that one. Um, somebody says, it's very interesting, it's like a feminine spin on a masculine composition. If you like the variety, if you like variety, this is good, a good one to have in your wardrobe. It's definitely unique. This was the fragrance sample that confirmed that I definitely don't like powdery scents. This fragrance has grown on me though. Um, it can be, it can be more of a powdery scent, but I really do appreciate that it's different and unique without sacrificing being really good to accomplish that. It's definitely not my signature scent, but it's definitely signature worthy. Okay. 
Um, somebody says it's becomes a warm, sultry, smoky lavender slash vanilla in cooler weather. Quite surprising. I was used to wearing this in warmer weather, but it feels like a heavy lavender perfume, but um, having it in cooler temps, it's um, beautiful and sexy. Okay. So, yeah, that is my review of Walik Living. Interesting name, too. I wonder... wonder why. Living. Living kind of just makes me think, like, you're just living, you know, day to day. So, I don't know. What would I name this? I feel like I would name it... I don't know. <laughs> Okay, everybody, so that's my review of Lalique Living, and I hope you all are doing well, sending you peace, love, harmony, and beauty, and I'll catch you all again soon. Okay, bye.